there guys, PCLE2509 here and today I'm back with another tutorial for you guys so today we're going to be making a animated banner for YouTube um, like this basically if you didn't already know YouTube added this feature about two days ago uh, so today I'm going to be going uh, over not exactly how to design one but how to actually make one so how to get it to work with YouTube uh, so yeah let's get to the tutorial so the first program we need is After Effects. Um, I'm using After Effects CC, but you can use probably any uh, version of it. I think it should just work the same. So once you're in here, um, make a new project uh, that kind of comes up on the loading screen, and then we need to go to New Composition. This you can name whatever you want, but you've got to make sure it has the 2560 by 1440p for the width and height, and also set the frame weight frame rate to 20 uh, frames per second because that kind of keeps the file size down because that's the only problem with this is that YouTube have kept the file size at 2 megabytes so we can't make very long GIFs but never mind um, so yeah I'd, I'd recommend 20 FPS you could do 30 if you had a shorter GIF but I don't know uh, the duration uh, I've set it to 100 because I know my clips not that long but maybe go um, let's just say 200 because you can always shorten it afterwards so if we click OK it will create a composition um, and the first thing you need to drag in is this template which I will have in the description um, and basically this is kind of the layout of the YouTube banner um, and how they've set it up so you can see the safe zone in the middle way basically any device can see that area and then it gets wider and then this is like the TV area um, but I don't think many people view it on TV anyway um, so then we want to click on this layer and just click this arrow and then transform and just drop the opacity down to um, maybe 50% so you can see for it and then the next bit is kind of the part where it's up to you um, and this is where you add in your uh, kind of the actual banner itself um, so certainly for me I already had a banner uh, and I'll just show you that now um, if we go into here I already had this banner so I decided that I wanted to make this organic triangle animated so what I did was I then went into uh, Cinema 4D and rendered it out uh, just as the thing moving so um, I'll just put that in here. Always make sure you keep this layer on top. So you can see that's in the safe zone so all devices can see it. And then what I did after that was I added in the logos on top which is like the Twitter and Facebook and then my network in the corner and also my uh, main like name on top uh, so you can see there, uh, the PC Ollie part, and then I think I moved that round as well so it lined up a bit. Uh, let's just move it to there. Uh, I then did also, uh, I cut parts of it um, so basically it, it didn't, because with how a GIF works is it runs through the sequence and then it repeats over and over. So I wanted it to kind of look quite flawless so it didn't look like it was repeating so what I did was I did a few jumps in um, side the GIF so then when the jump of it repeating happened it didn't look too like different it kind of blended in but of course you could do a animation that starts uh, starts with nothing does the animation and then finishes with nothing and then it will look flawless so it repeats or you could just do any old animation and not mind the fact that it has that kind of jump as it repeats but I don't know up to you uh, so once you're happy with this uh, let's just move these down to here um, and then we want to shorten the composition and then um, so yeah once you're happy with that make sure you get rid of this top layer by just clicking the little eye so then it doesn't show up and you can see that's kind of what it will look like finished you can scrub through and have a look if you're happy with it um, so yeah that's that looks fine to me so I will then 
uh, go file, export, uh, add to render queue, or you can go composition, add to render queue, but it doesn't really matter, I always go that way. And then this is kind of the important bit, so you want to go in render settings, you want to click on the best settings, make sure the quality is at best and the resolution is at full and make sure this bit is uh, checked so it says use comp frame rate uh, so it's at 20 fps um, or I don't know if you didn't follow the early bit you could just go use frame rate and then type in for uh, 20 and then you want to just click OK um, and then down here at the output module you want to go click on the lossless and change the format to QuickTime and then you also want to go to the channels and click RB, uh, RGB plus alpha and I think that's it on there, yep and then just click OK uh, and then you can change the save location so I'll just put it in here um, tutorial, obviously call it whatever you want, I can't spell um, and just click save and then you want to it will go back to the composition but click on the render queue and then just click render uh, and this will take a while just rendering it out so I'll be back in a second so that's finished rendering you want to open up Photoshop uh, which is I'm again using Photoshop CC but you could use any version uh, I guess so once you're in Photoshop you want to click file open and then uh, navigate to where the place was saved uh, the thing we did before was saved uh, and then just click open and it'll take a minute to open because it's got to kind of like load the uh, video um, which is obviously quite big uh, so let's see if this loads soon okay I'll be back in a second once it's loaded it should open a little dialogue saying rendering video or something and then it'll come up with this uh, as you can see there's a timeline similar to After Effects so you can scrub through and see what you want um, I would uh, kind of recommend keeping it around this mark which is the I think 200 frames or something um, I mean I for my one uh, I did it up to just over 200 frames and it was 1.8 megabytes so I was very close to the limit you maybe could push it up to about here but yeah you've got to keep it quite short so maybe if um, this kind of like ruins your animation then you might need to go back to After Effects and kind of change the animation so I'll put it down to where I had it which is about here and then you want to uh, yeah you don't really need to do anything in Photoshop you just kind of scrub through see if you like it you could probably add uh, more things on top so the text layers that I added you probably could have added them in Photoshop but I just added them on the other one um, so once you're happy with it, uh, you want to just click file and save for web and then this will take a minute just to kind of load the video um, yeah it's got to kind of re-render it so it takes quite a while but I guess while that's loading, oh no we can't, right okay I'll be back once it's loaded okay so it's loaded and as you can see if we zoom out there's the uh, file so in here this is kind of the probably the most important bit of the whole process is getting these settings right so you want to make sure you have in this um, what is it called optimized file format you want to make sure you have a uh, GIF selected and then all this stuff just maybe if it's different um, I mean I this is the first time I use this feature and all this stuff was correct so um, maybe it might be different for you but just just check over that it's the same uh, make sure, especially make sure that the colors are on 256 and the differ is on 100% but if you did say have a 400 frame animation and you couldn't shorten it anymore you could set the colors down to 128 but that's kind of like a last resort because it will reduce the quality quite dramatically so I would recommend having it at 256 if you can and then also check down this stuff's all 2560 by 1440 the quality I put it on by cubic sharper and that seemed to work well and then this is probably the most important setting is on this looping options make sure you have forever uh, selected 
um, because otherwise basically it'll play the GIF once and then just stop whereas if it if you have it on forever then it will just keep going forever um, and then you can just play the animation just to check it works so you can see the organic triangle moving there um, and you can see also how it repeats uh, so yeah that's once you have that checked and you're happy with it then you just click save and you just want to go uh, let's go out of here just want to go to your uh, place where you're saving it um, call it whatever you want and then dot uh, gif and then format images only uh, that's default settings that's all fine and then just click save and then yeah that's that's pretty much it so it will simply render the video uh, GIF even <laughs> so uh, yeah once that's done then you can just go into YouTube and upload it like you would any other channel banner um, like you did previously so yeah that's pretty much it for this video uh, thanks for watching make sure to subscribe goodbye